blew off weight. Remember what I said, if it's high up and you can't reach, remember what you can do. So the trick you do here is like that. So now you can just... Sparkle it on the top because we can grind that up later. Because remember, the flux around the tip is all knackered. So, no, 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 don't not banging it. Do it like this. Can you see on the tip? Lift your helmet. Yeah. Can you see how there's wire sticking out with no flux? Yeah. yeah? So, I'm going to cut some of that off. Just makes it worse again, yeah. again. All the scratching, those welds are good, yeah? Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. There's a little bit of improvement there, very, very good there, average, very good. So there's a range of different things, but they are good. Okay. Now be careful because this thing will be hot. Oh. Right? So what we'll do is we'll take a grinder and flatten that and clean it. Okay. Um, Do now, put a fresh rod in. These things are called stretchers in terms of furniture. Yeah. You can see this one's not in yet properly. So we need to tack all of these right. and tack them from the bottom. So a decent tack there, a decent tack there, a decent tack there, there, there. So if we come up here at the top and we tack all of it. What was the trick I showed you about the rod? If you, so because you're not this high, are you? You're that high. So if you want to get it in here, you can do that. Yeah. It is more difficult, so do it. Yeah, do a little flat, but try keep it in the middle because remember we're going to want to clean that up with the grinder. 
So that way you're just warming the tip of the, the rod up and make it easier to go. Yeah, so that's nice. There, okay, enough. If you get it right in the corner, yep, there. Okay, you can't because you will have to weld in difficult positions. But if you can move the piece to suit you, then why not do it like that? So then do that again. So you go in that corner, and remember you need to lean 15 degrees in the direction you're going, and 45 degrees, so you're going right in the corner, okay? Let me have a double check for you. No, Remember when it's a new rod sparkles a little bit, it gets rid of the glaze on the end and it warms it up. Okay. Come off. Sparkle it quite a bit there in the middle. Lots of sparkles. Slower sparkling, but sparkling nonetheless. Two loads of them like that, yeah. Okay, do you think it's going nicely now? I think it's going nicely. You can tell how it's going by listening to the sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this start right at the top on the other side and go. So you can see here, so you didn't weld that right to the edge, so it's fast. Oh, not so fast. Then you need to wait for me to give you instructions. Start there and then go. Triple the triple the um, slag off. We'll come back and maybe do some spots on there, but triple the slag off everywhere.
Okay, so what I want to do now is if you weld again, these stretches, if you weld them on, if you give me the hammer please, if you just do, if, like a spot weld but a little bit bigger, you do it on the inside there. So on the outside everybody can see, so we're going to maybe try to clean that up later. But if you do inside there and inside there, flip it, and do inside there and inside there, you do the stretches on all four edges, yeah? So, do you want to put the helmet on it and do some more welds? Uh, okay. Oh, you six more welds, I'm sure you can do it. Uh, yes, you have, don't tell porkies. Uh, With lunch, yes. Ginger beer. Tell you what, we'll give you a double sized glass when you finish this. How's that? Yes. Yeah. How do you think it's going to weld? It's not going to generate heat if there's no current going through, is it? that leg up later on, you know. Thank you. 